What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. Today I'm gonna to be unboxing something really awesome for the E30 over here. Rachel's chilling in the seat. Hola. Um, I got an awesome package in the mail. Um, something I've been wanting to do to the car for a while that's gonna add a little bit of downforce. Now this thing is super cool. I've never seen a box this nice shipped in the mail before. So let me show you how it looks. Boom, freaking wood container awesome it even had like a laminated packaging slip but i took that off and it was stapled on super cool screwed in so i'm gonna pop off these screws oh yeah look at that aluminum stamped kugel works freaking sick so this is from forest kugel works he is actually a a guy who hand makes parts for uh 2002s he makes stuff for e30s he actually does a whole bunch of fabrication stuff that's really really awesome um some really high end custom work with some sweet machinery so i'm gonna go ahead and bust this thing open real quick show you what i got in here i'm not gonna get to use my regular knife on this one pretty cool i'm actually gonna have to use a uh, screw gun so we'll go ahead and bust these things loose <laughs> all right guys so here it is that wood piece <laughs> that is sick that is freaking sick right there so check this out So this thing is all handmade, super, super sick. It's made out of aluminum, so it's lightweight. Um, also, if it like were to impact the wall or something like that, it's aluminum, so it bends fairly easily, which is a good thing, because it's not gonna crumple the rest of the car. Uh, that's one reason uh, Forrest makes these things out of aluminum, which is a super good idea. I like that idea. Um, and aluminum's just, it's sick. Like, look at that. It's all freaking brushed and everything awesome pick up a wrench on shirt with bird on the back if you guys want to see more videos up and coming i have sweatshirts on the website as well guys link below down in the description uh if you want to pick up a sweatshirt i know it's starting to get cold out and uh a blake's garage sweatshirt would be something good so it looks like it comes with a little bit of hardware here um two little pieces of foam some nuts and bolts. Oh, if you saw that little intro to this video, you guys saw the Forest Kugelworks aluminum wing that we're gonna be throwing on the Bird E30, the 1988 BMW E30 right here. Looking low, looking fast, looking good. We got a little bit of a wang to put on this thing. So, going to show you what tools you need to do to do this right the first time. So here is the Kugelworks all aluminum wing with the awesome, look at that, look at that awesome badging right there. Freaking sick. Uh, so this thing is all handmade by Forrest Kugelworks in Santa Rosa. I'll put a link down to that down below. Um, also check out his Instagram because he's got some really cool stuff on there. And if you guys are not following me on Instagram, you should be. So at Blake's Garage, follow me on there because if you're not, what are you doing? You know, what are you doing? Anyways, we're gonna be throwing this wing on right now. Some blue masking tape because uh, paint jobs are not cheap, even though, you know, obviously I just have all this stuff sat on the car, so that's kind of besides my point. But anyways, if you have a nice paint job, don't do this. Clicos, this is a Clico tool. These are eight inch Clicos right here, and this makes it very easy for installing body panels and things like that. Just basically like sheet metal work. Um, you could drill a hole, you can use this. And then all you gotta do is use your little Clico tool. And what it does is it opens up the end. So it makes this a uh, whatever size it is. So this is eighth inch. And then when you release it, boom, squeezes it down. And now that piece is temporarily affixed to the other piece that's behind it. So think about it as like a temporary rivet or just something to hold on a metal piece. Makes life really easy. They're super cool. Uh, great for if you're doing like fiberglass work, sheet metal work, aluminum work, whatever. Uh, they're really cool. Something to add to your toolbox. It'll put a link to those down below as well. These ones here, uh, same sort of thing. You can clamp and release. Uh, I may use these on the corners. We'll see. Um, 
Not really sure, but if I do, I do. And those come with the kit usually. And if I don't, then I don't. A spring-loaded center punch for figuring out where you're going to drill the holes. Eighth inch US made drill bit to drill through your trunk. Quality drill, I like to use DeWalt drills. Uh, Milwaukee's are good too. Uh, really, those are the only two that I can recommend. Um, I feel that those are the top two brands, so get those if you like those. If not, use what you got, I guess, but these are good tools. And then this right here. So this is not necessary to install this, but this is gonna make it really clean and really nice. And that is a Marson riv nut setter. So this is a riv nut tool. It basically rivets a bung, basically gonna thread that hole that you drilled out, make it really easy for you to uh, screw and unscrew things. Really nice, uh, it's a quality product. You use these little guys right here. You get those in, crimp them down, and now, yeah, now that's your hole that's threaded, and you're gonna be able to put your bolts into that. Really, really cool stuff. Also, some measuring tools are gonna be good as well. First thing I am gonna do is just set down some blue painter's tape, so let me uh, get after that real quick. Good too, when you're ever you're drilling on a car to do, just cause sometimes drill bits walk. That's why I grab the uh, center punch. Center punches are definitely gonna help a drill bit not walk, you know? It's gonna make it to where it's gonna kinda stay where it needs to be, but doing this real fast. Right here on the inside of your trunk, you kinda have these little bump stops, right? You have them here and here. You can kinda untwist these. Um, if you untwist them, what that's gonna do is it's gonna give more space in between here. So when it shuts on your trunk, you're gonna be less likely to uh, have a really tight gap here. This is kind of gonna raise the trunk lid up a little bit. Um, that way when we slam the trunk down, we're, we're not gonna wanna do that, but in case we do, we wanna make sure that the wing does not hit right here. So we wanna get the proper clearance. So just doing this very fast is gonna make sure that we have a nice and solid trunk lid. All right, so I adjusted this side a little bit more and now you can see that it's actually a little bit higher here on this side, so that's what we want. So then after that, have your friend, have your wife, hold the wing in place. Make sure you have everything lined up and everything centered as far as the back lines on the back and everything looks really good. Once you do that, you're just gonna wanna take your center punch, put it right in the center of those holes, press down, mark out all the holes, and then you can pre-drill them. For that, I just went ahead and marked them with a Sharpie really fast. Um, that way it just identifies where all my holes are gonna be. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just drill out the uh, first two holes, or I'll drill my first hole and then I'm gonna put a Clico in. You're gonna wanna take a peek underneath the trunk just to kind of get an idea of what you're drilling into. Uh, sorry guys, it's getting kind of dark. I'm gonna throw a light on the camera in a minute here. But yeah, I mean, overall, you could see, you know, not much. We don't have to go deep. All I have to do is go through the top layer of sheet metal because I'm gonna be using that rib nut and then we're gonna crimp those bad boys in there. All right, everyone's favorite thing. I know this usually scares people. If you're uh, scared to drill on your own car, have your friend do it if he's handy with the drill. If you are not good with a drill, don't do this because you're gonna mess something up. Uh, let the drill bit do the work. Obviously, you don't want to slip off, boom, ruin your paint job, anything like that. So, yep, hopefully I can go by the words I just told you. Oh, put on safety glasses. That'd be a good idea. Oh yeah. Just take your Clico tool, use that, stretch it out, make sure it fits nice and tight in there. Boom, we're perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the wing on the car just to make sure that it's uh, lined up in the spot that I like because this is ideally where I'm gonna put the hole and line everything else off of. So let's make sure everything still looks good and I'll continue drilling. So as you can see, this works really nice because we just line it up. Boom, release. Now that thing is kind of held on there. And I can real quickly just eyeball all my holes, make sure everything still looks to be proper. Now, because I want this thing to obviously end up lining up right here, I'm gonna go ahead and do this side real quick. Um, that way I can get those, and then we can dial in the middle, drill the rest of the holes. We're halfway there. So now I got two Clicos installed, looking good. The wing is looking really good. Um, gonna go ahead and pop the rest of those holes, and we'll work on the rib nuts. 
final fitment with the Clicos. Once I do this, I'll open up these holes a little bit and uh, put in the rev nuts. So I just have to say, like those Clicos look so sick on here. Like you almost, you almost just kind of want to leave them. I don't know. It's kind of, kind of more race car, isn't it? All right, so at this point, I recommend to kind of just look at it from every pit viper angle, whatever angle, and uh, make sure you like final fitment. That looks sick. Let's finalize it up. Just so you guys can see how well these Clicos just work. I mean, look, that's pretty dang strong for what it is. I mean, it's not super tight, but I mean, for like two seconds worth of work or less per item per Clico, it's like well worth the investment in money for time for fiddling around with stuff like this because it just makes life so easy. So I've upgraded to a quarter inch bit right here and what that's gonna do is fit my rib nut hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and bore these out. I recommend you use a drill bit where it's got like a, I don't even know, like a spade tip like this. Don't use one of those ones with the uh, pilot hole type thing because that's just gonna screw you up. We already have our pilot holes, so we don't need that type of drill bit. At this point, if you have a deburring bit, uh, go ahead and put that in there and deburr the hole. If not, uh, just go ahead and continue. You may want to file this down a little bit if you have any uh, obstructions or like any sort of metal shavings that are flying out of this thing. So far, it's looking really good with all the holes. Uh, no walking. Rib nut time. This is a really good high quality tool right here. And I just have the number eight size in there right now. So what I did is I went ahead and just threaded this on here. You wanna make sure that none of the uh, threads really hang out of the bottom. Now you're gonna put that up to your quarter inch hole. Press down firmly, that way you can squeeze this thing and make sure it doesn't slide up. Give it a nice solid squeeze. Best squeeze you can give it. Unscrew this thing. Oh yeah, that thing looks like it's in there nice and solid. Taking a peek right there you can see that it's Oh yeah, it's in there. So we're gonna continue with the rest of those. It's a good idea to look in there and make sure that it mushroomed out. This one looks really good. Included with the kit is a little bit of this uh, tar stuff. So what I'm gonna do is cut this with a knife and I'm gonna make these little rollies. So I'm gonna make these little rolly worm type things and wrap those around the hole. That way it seals the trunk from leaking. See that? It's kind of like a wormy, gooey little washer, which will work great. I'll do six of those and throw them down over those rib nuts. Got that little bit of tar and I just made some little washers right around all of the rib nuts. So that will seal out any weather issues. Got that stainless steel hardware that came with the kit also with the wings. So horse has got all this stuff going for us. So it's really nice. Kit comes together very well. We're just going to go ahead and thread, thread this into the uh, rev nut and uh, be all freaking good to go. All right, guys. So the wing is all on the car and I wanted to show it to you in a little bit better spot than just my house. So let's go check it out. I think it looks freaking awesome. There it is. There it is. There it is. So sick. I really like the way that it looks. It's got that really nice ducktail look to it. Overall, I'm just really happy with the look. And in the raw, which I got, I had you guys vote on Instagram if you liked it raw or if you thought I should like paint it or wrap it. Everybody voted raw for the most part. It was like 90% raw and I'm like 10% uh, wrapped or whatever. Yeah, guys, uh, it's uh, it looks pretty freaking sweet. I mean, this thing is the birdie 30, so I do approve of this message. So yeah, uh, you know, make sure. Uh, to subscribe if you guys have not subscribed because this is the birdie 30 and uh we need more views on this thing that way we can get more parts okay okay all right later guys ranger home